Hi everyone, today we're going to draw my hand in a couple of different sketchbooks. Here is a book I love. Bridgman talks about the body as a human machine, discussing where each muscle originates and ends with regards to the bone structure. And I use the Bridgman book as reference to help find those muscles and bone landmarks in my own hand. Here I am drawing in a white Canson sketchbook using a Derwent Studio Ultramarine pencil. Then I set the book aside and draw what I see in my own hand, trying to remember the shapes of muscles and landmarks I saw in the book. And I really find that I like drawing with this pencil. They're similar to color erase pencils because you can get a very light and very, to very dark values with them. draw more poses of my hand, I start to think of how to fit them next to each other so I can fill the page. Time for a break! I made almond croissants. And here they are! Mm, those look good! And there's that almond paste. With coffee, of course. Mmm, yes. Back to work, if I can call it that. It's more like fun. Here are some heroic paint pens. They're like Posca pens. They're oils, but some are opaque and some are translucent. I start back this time in my Strathmore Toned Tan sketchbook. I love mid-range colored sketchbooks because I get to use whites and other highlights in them. I didn't enjoy the process with the paint pens, but it wasn't the fault of the pens. So I went back to the pencil and drew my hand in different poses using the paint pens as props. Sometimes, instead of thinking of my hand as a group of muscles, I think of it as geometrical shapes. And that helps sometimes to get you to draw. Oh,
the paint pens first here with highlights. again and tried cross hatching this time to see if I'd get a more pleasing look. Then I tried uh, coming in with a beige to blend everything. And it looked a little better than my first attempts, but I still wasn't quite happy with it. tried a green Prisma color. I love these because they're so greasy. I switch tools a lot because sometimes it helps to trick your brain into being more creative by using mixed mediums. And here's me using a Posca pen. See how opaque that white is? I finished off for the day with some blue pencil and white highlights and found that is what worked best for me on this particular day. Thanks for watching, nap time.